Summer Sale is finally here, and with it, a unique way to buy more than one vehicle. In this video, I'll be explaining what the Summer Sale is, how you can effectively use it, and my top five picks that I think you should buy. Some things to note before we get started is that the Summer Sale is only available to PC players. Secondly, any pack vehicles from the last three major updates are not eligible for the Summer Sale discount. The other thing I want to make you aware of is the Russian Yak-38 and the Japanese F-86 JASDF Sabre are going into retirement. That's right. These vehicles will no longer be available for purchase at the end of the summer sale. So how does the summer sale work? The summer sale is a 25% off singular pack vehicles discount or 50% off when you buy two or more. Please note that the discount does not stack beyond 50%. So if you wanted to buy the Leopard A1A1 and the AV8A Harrier, you would add both of those vehicles to your shopping cart for $60 each. And upon adding both vehicles, the 50% discount will be applied automatically, allowing you to get two vehicles for the price of one. The summer sale ends on July 4th, so you've only got 10 days from the time of posting to get your discounts. Before I jump into my top five picks, I wanna make it known that I will be giving you my opinion in this video. Please use your own judgment when deciding if you should spend money on the 2022 summer sale. With that out of the way, let's jump right into my first pick, the American T29. This American heavy tank is my favorite mid-tier vehicle in the entire game. It's got great turret armor and a very reliable 105 mm gun. The thing that makes this tank so good is the round that it gets, the T13. If you manage to pen your shots, nine out of 10 will be a kill shot. It has a great 450% Silver Lion booster and a 570% RP boost. This is my go-to tank for farming Silver Lions. For those reasons, this is my number one pick in the summer sale. My next pick is the Leopard A1A1 L44. Now I'm a little biased towards this tank as I am a German ground main. However, this does not take away from the fact that this tank is an absolute powerhouse. It has access to an 11.0 gun at rank 9.0. It is not fast and it is not slow. It's got great APF SDS rounds with 393 millimeters of pen and a heat round with 480 millimeters of pen. This tank shines in a sniping or flanking role. This is my most played tank in all of War Thunder. And for those reasons, it is my number two pick. My third pick is a vehicle I don't actually own, the KA-50. It's got great air to ground missiles with a range of eight kilometers. It's also got air to air missiles and surprisingly at times can fly without a tail. If you're looking for a helicopter that can help you farm out your tech tree, then look no further because the KA-50 will have you forcing other players to Alt F4, uninstall War Thunder, and get outside with their family for the first time since 2012. I know a huge portion of you are here because you're looking for a recommendation on which premium plane to buy to grind out the F-14. Well, here it is. The F-5C. A very well-rounded plane, packed with AIM-9Es, two 20mm cannons in the nose, and a small, lightweight airframe. It's a very decent turn fighter and fairly survivable. In my experience, more often than not, I have been able to repair after taking critical damage. With this plane, you'll be able to grind out your F-14 in just a few weeks. It also comes equipped with some new napalm bombs. That's cool, I guess. Uh, don't really see the effectiveness of napalm bombs. Uh, and it's got some spicy air-to-ground missiles. So you could use this as a strike aircraft with your top tier American lineup. My final but not last pick is the T-72 Terms. I know, big surprise. I do want to reiterate a very good point that Tankenstein and Justin Plays made in their videos. If you're gonna buy this tank, you should consider bundling it with the T-55 AM-1. You do not wanna be that guy that spawns in his terms, dies once, and then heads back to the garage, leaving your team down a handful of players. The T-55 AM-1 gets APF SDS rounds and ATGMs. Despite being a whole BR and a half lower, it still has a stabilizer, laser rangefinder, and decent penetration. So consider my fifth pick a two for one. There's not a whole lot to say about the terms that everyone doesn't already know. If you've been wanting to pick one up for a while, then now is the best time to do it. It's got great thermal sights, a great cannon, and reactive armor to protect you in a head-to-head. -head. Just don't show them your side or lower plate. Don't go anywhere because I have one more pick to share with you guys. But first, let me know in the comments down below what five vehicles you would pick for the 2022 summer sale. For my bonus tank, I'm going back to 7.3 with the Savoy SM. It's a French autoloader with a 100mm gun. I actually used this tank to get my most recent nuke. 
and you're viewing gameplay from that match as you watch this. The Samoa SM is a heavy tank with no reverse gear, but it sure does pack a punch with its 4 second reload. This is a pretty good frontline tank and it has enough armor to protect you in most situations, but I wouldn't rely on it 100% of the time. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you found value in this video, please let me know what you'd like to see next, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video.